Tell you a story? Well, I do know the most incredible story of all. My story. My legend. The legend of Puss in Boots. Like all great tales, it begins with a humble gato. I entered the establishment in search of a simple score. The patrons did not take me seriously. Until they were reminded of my reputation. The men gave up what they knew. That the bandits Jack and Jill had somehow found the magic pins. The legendary beans for which I spent half my life searching would lead to a giant's castle and to the Golden Goose. I would finally be able to repay my debt to my hometown of San Ricardo. I needed to find the location of this Jack and Jill. I could smell that one of the Bantilos could help me, but he suddenly ran away. Whatever he knew, it was important enough to hide. But if I was to find those beans, I would need to catch him. But the other bandidos were not going to make that easy for me. Fear me, if you dare. What? You call that fighting? Okay, my turn. Here I go! Okay, that's it! Forward. Why are you idiots just standing there? Attack! You ready for a fight? Looks like it's my turn! fight me. I would love to stay and play, but I gotta go. My flair was unparalleled. Don't get me! 
gato. You might want to try jumping at this stage. He did not want me to follow him. But I always think on my feet. He would not stop me for long. I must catch up with the... Uh, why, senorita, what are you doing in a rough place like this? I will never tell you the secret. One thing, senor. You have a lot of barrels.
Catch me if you can. I had the bandit cornered. Unfortunately, there were... Uh, soon find out what I needed to know. So, mi amigo, don't you think this would have been easier without all the running?
Jack and Jill were staying at the hotel, and they had with them the magic beans. The fiesta was in full swing, but this was business. I would have no time for pleasure. Well, maybe a little time for pleasure. It was the classiest hotel in town, and nothing was going to stop me. With those beans, I could repay what I owed to the people of San Ricardo. The baseball could tell me where Jack and Jill were. I just needed to take it. But I could not risk being spotted. There was a price on my head. Busiest time of the year. Yeah, right. What's that? That Jack and Jill. Now no one wants to stay here. That Jack and Jill. Now no one wants to stay here. Mm -hmm. I would be lost without this book. Before I could go there, I would have to deal with other obstacles. Afford to be spotted. If Jack and Jill were alerted, it would be the last I saw of the beans. Stop right there, outlaw! Did that statue just move? Keeping my eye on you, Mr. Cactus. I need a rest. I keep seeing things. The room was ahead. But first, I had to get past my frame from the harbor. The hotel was very old, as were the squeaky floorboards. What's that? I was caught. Eh? But luckily, El Fiesta del Fuego provided a suitable distraction. Que bonita. El fin y end. No more. Es 
es todo? ¿No, amor? ¡Hey! ¡Fireworks! ¡El fin tiene! ¡No more! I was at the door to Jack and Jill's room. There was just one problem. It was locked. Luckily for me, this was really a problem. The hardest part would be getting the beans. I would have to employ my very best sneaking skills. What was that, Jack? It's just this creaky old hotel, Jill. Don't worry. Jack, what's that noise? You're imagining things. <laughs> what was that, Jack? It's nothing. <laughs> It's nothing. <laughs> hey, what gives? Who is that? You, you, you. Stop where you are. How? Those beans are mine. for something? <laughs> uh, no. Uh. Housekeeping. Ren was telling me nothing. I needed to know what he knew. Was he too after the magic beans? You! You cost me my beans! At least do me the honor of facing me in a duel! You will have to do better than that! Look! Who's in boots? <laughs> 